Welcome to Menkara's Funerary Complex. The dimensions of Menkara's pyramid are much less grandiose. However, unlike its predecessors, Menkara's pyramid shows a great deal of complexity in its internal and external finish. The outside was partially covered in red granite, while the internal walls were richly decorated. This latter innovation would not catch on until the end of the 5th dynasty, when pyramid texts began to adorn the walls. Menkara's pyramid contains two sloping passages, both located in the northern side of the structure. The upper one was abandoned during the construction phase, whereas the lower one, slightly above the base of the monument, constitutes the real entrance. The lower passage leads to a first room, which, for the first time since the reign of Djoser, is decorated with engraved false doors. While Menkara's pyramid complex was unfinished at the time of his death, it was hastily and somewhat shabbily completed by his successor, Shepsikov. Even so, this funerary structure marks a watershed in the history of this kind of monument. From then onwards, the pyramid shrank, whereas the mortuary temple expanded both in its quantitative and qualitative aspects. Of particular note, it is within Menkara's mortuary temple that one can find the heaviest block of limestone ever used for a pyramid complex, weighing in at over 200 tons. Menkara's causeway was completed in mud brick by the king's successor, whereas the lower part was nothing more than a simple ramp. As for the valley temple, it was built in two phases. The foundations were first laid out in limestone during Menkara's reign, but the temple itself was completed in mud brick afterwards. As such, the valley temple was soon damaged and ended up being completely rebuilt during the Sixth Dynasty. Three small structures, referred to as Menkara's Queen's Pyramids, were erected along the southern side of the main pyramid. One of them was a smooth-faced pyramid, while the other two were more basic step pyramids. It is difficult to assess whether the latter were designed as such or were left unfinished with no casing to smooth out their surfaces.
The easternmost pyramid was built with the traditional rooms and corridors found within a satellite pyramid meant to house the king's ka. However, a granite sarcophagus was found within, leading to the conclusion that it was used as an actual tomb rather than as a symbolic cenotaph. Drawing on these observations, some assume that this pyramid was first built as a satellite pyramid for the king's ka before seeing its purpose change to that of a queen's tomb. Which queen, however, remains a mystery.